Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking all about my skincare routine and it's been a little while since I've done an updated version of this and I've really changed up my skincare regimen. I've been adding and trying out a lot of new products so I'm just going to show you everything that I'm currently using and just to give you a quick background on my skin in case you guys have the same skin type or the same kind of concerns, I have combination skin. I'm a little bit more on the dry side than I am oily but my T-zone gets a little bit oily and I do have some dry areas on my face. I do also have pretty sensitive skin. I've never really had problematic skin in terms of acne, but I do deal with hormonal breakouts and the occasional pimples and zits. But with that said, I noticed that about three months ago, ever since I got back from my New York trip, my skin was really starting to act up and I noticed a lot of breakouts around my chin and on my forehead. So I was trying a lot of new things to see how I could treat my skin. So I'll talk about all the products that are working out for me, but just as a little disclaimer, if you guys follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you guys might already know this, but a couple months back, I was selected to be a Neutrogena brand ambassador along with a couple other YouTubers that you guys might know, but we had a chance to learn about the products and the science behind them. So you're going to notice a lot of Neutrogena products sprinkled in here because I have been like a little guinea pig testing out all these products made for sensitive and combination skin types. So let's just get into it. I'm going to start off with what I use in the morning and when I wake up I like to rinse off my face a little bit and I've been using this new ultra gentle daily cleanser from Neutrogena and this was created with sensitive skin types in mind because this is a non-stripping formula so it doesn't leave your skin feeling too dry or irritated at all it just removes all the dirt oil and makeup on the surface of your face so I just rinse off my face with this and then I follow up with this toner water from Lush this is the aroma water and it has rose and lavender in it which is supposed to hydrate and moisturize your skin so I use about three sprays of this and then I kind of let it sink into my skin and then I will use my Nutriganics Smoothing Eye Cream. I like to use this morning and night kind of as a really light eye treatment and I just kind of concentrate this right under my eyes and on my eyelids. And then after that, I like to use my Neutrogena Oil-Free Moisturizer. This, again, is made for sensitive skin. And I've talked about this in my favorites. I really, really like this because it's such a lightweight moisturizer. And this is a water-based moisturizer, so it doesn't clog your pores and it's hypoallergenic. I've actually started mixing a little bit of this into my foundation because I realized that my foundation sometimes emphasizes the dryness on my skin, and I hate that look. So I started mixing a little bit of that into my foundation and it gives it a more natural, almost dewy kind of finish and it also kind of thins out the foundation so it's a lot more natural looking on and I just feel like it's more moisturizing to wear throughout the day. So those are kind of my morning skincare routine steps to prep my face for makeup and whatnot. So now moving into my nighttime makeup removing and face cleansing routine. If I'm wearing a lot of makeup that day, I will start off with my Neutrogena makeup removing cleansing towelettes and these are awesome. I only use one of these and it removes most of my makeup, even my like waterproof eyeliner and my mascara. So I will use this first before I go and wash my face. And after that, I will follow up with this oil-free acne wash. This is the Pink Grapefruit Cream Cleanser, and I love this stuff. This stuff is amazing, and I feel like this has really been the one thing that's helped clear up my skin. It does have 2% salicylic acid acne treatment in it, and I don't normally use a lot of things with salicylic acid in it because it can be a little bit drying on my skin, but this has not dried out my skin at all and it's actually done the opposite. I feel like it's looked so much better and it feels so much softer. I could tell the difference after like only a few times of using this and it does have grapefruit extract in it. It smells really really good. I love the smell of it. It smells really refreshing. So after I've washed my face and I've made sure there's no leftover makeup left on my skin, I will then start my nighttime skincare routine. And I always start off with my toner water again, and then I will use my smoothing eye cream. And then I've been using two different kinds of serums. These are both from The Body Shop. This one is the Vitamin E Moisture Serum, and this is a pre-moisture treatment. So it's meant to be like your first layer before you put on any kind of moisturizer. This is made for all skin types, and it's really lightweight. And the other one I'm using is the Neutrogenic Drops of Youth. This is supposed to be a youth-enhancing kind of serum, and it's actually enriched with plant stem cells. So this is really supposed to smooth out your skin, and I only use about 
about one pump of this and I just pat it into my skin and really let it saturate. And then I will finish it off with my Vitamin E Nourishing Night Cream. This again is from The Body Shop and this is made for all skin types, but this is a very heavy and thick kind of nighttime moisturizer, which I kind of like because like I said, I have drier areas on my face and I really like how this kind of sinks into my skin as I sleep and when I wake up, I just have really, really soft and smooth skin. So I love that, but if you guys aren't really into very thick and heavy moisturizers, that might not be for you. But I have been using a new product in place of my nighttime moisturizer, and it's by Kiss Skin Care. This is a whitening collagen cream mask, and this is very new to me. I've only used it a couple times so far, so I won't get into details with it just yet. I want to use it for a while longer, and if I do see some great results, I will be doing a full review on this. But those are pretty much all the items that I've been using in my skincare routine. And like I said, I've really noticed a change and a difference in my skin. So I hope you guys found this helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have any other questions for me. Or if you guys have a product you want to recommend me that you're loving. You guys can always connect with me through my Twitter and my Instagram. It's always linked below. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Bye!